Good evening, I'm Jim Barry, and we start off the top with serious complaints going unanswered at a pricey Fort Lauderdale apartment building. And I'm Naja Sherman. Tenants called CBS News Miami saying there's no air conditioning and common areas, a problem with mold, and homeless people gathering in the garage, and that's just a few of their complaints. CBS News Miami's Joan Murray has more on this story from Fort Lauderdale. Joan, what did you learn when you went inside? Well, as you said, this all started with a message from a tenant here at the manor who said they were sick and tired of no air conditioning in the hallway and they believed it was leading to a mold problem. Well, we came and checked it out and found that he was not alone in his assessment. When he moved into the manor at Flagler Village in May, Pedro Navarro had high hopes. He pays $3,600 a month for a two-bedroom apartment, but now he doesn't think he's getting his money's worth. But the hallways are very, very warm. The grounds look very, very sloppy as well ever since. Uh, maintenance hasn't been the same. A big change from when the manor was built 10 years ago, part of Fort Lauderdale's massive downtown development. An upscale mid-rise with high ceilings, resort-style pool, and underground parking. A tenant invited us in to see about the lack of air conditioning in the hallways. It felt neither hot nor cold. We do smell the mold, especially at night because they turn off everything at night. Another tenant showed us mold on her ceiling, saying it formed after the AC went out in the hallway. We talked briefly with property manager Yvette Tillman, who told us to email her questions. She said the building was sold a year ago, and her company, RPM Living, is in transition, fixing what's wrong. According to their webpage, RPM Living is one of the largest apartment management companies in the country, overseeing a quarter million units. Manor tenant Joe Boris said since RPM Living took over recently, he has seen a decline. It's been nothing but problems. The gate doesn't close. Sometimes the door doesn't lock. They have homeless people in the lobby, I mean in the garage, um, even in the patio in the empty apartment. It's terrible. So terrible, Pedro Navarro has considered breaking his lease. Just a really rough transition, and they're going to pull up, pull around. So we'll, we'll be patient and see. Now, as I pointed out, I did pose a lot of questions to the property management company. We did not hear back at this point. So this is not over, far from over. And tenants here tell me their next step is to try to get somebody interested in the city and enforcer to come and look at this mold problem to see if anything can be done and also work on the new ownership company based in Aventura. We'll keep you posted on what happens. In Fort Lauderdale tonight, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.